Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia. If you're new here, if you're returning, thank you for tuning in today. So I'm going to be doing um, a makeup tutorial for you guys. It's be it's what I'm wearing right now. Um, it's a drugstore makeup tutorial, I guess, because I use a lot of products that I got from Target, besides like one thing. So I will make sure to link everything down below for you guys if you are interested in shopping the products that I used. So if you guys are interested in this look, just keep on watching. All right guys, so let's just get started. I just pinned my hair back really fast with some clips So I have a bunch of new products to show you. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do a video I've just been like lagging off a little bit, but anyways, so First off, um, I went ahead and washed my face already. I moisturized. I have a whole bunch of new like face products that I've been using, so maybe I'll do that in another video. Um, but for now, we're just gonna stick to makeup. So I have this Milani um, Prep and Brighten Rose Face Oil that I'm going to be using first. Um, I usually just use like two to three drops because I don't want my face to be like super, super oily. So I just do three drops like that on my cheeks and my forehead and I will just focus that um, in those areas like around my T-zone section. So now I'm going to do um, some primer. I have the e.l.f. I know everyone's like raving about this on TikTok and on all like other social media or other people's um, YouTube videos. So I decided to pick it up. So it's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And yeah, I think there's one other or two other ones. So I seen people um, like scoop it and put it on their face, but I like to just rub it and then I just focus it. I just like spread it on my face, on my T-zone area. And then I'll put a little bit on my chin and then my nose. I don't scoop it just cause I like to see I don't know, I just like to see it flat like that. So, I put that on and then I just rub that in. And this literally, uh, the hype is true, like it works so well, I love it. It literally makes my face look so flawless, it's amazing. Um, so that's that. So, I am going to start off with foundation. This is kind of my like, I don't know, I'm just playing around with makeup today and we'll see what we come up with. It's not like an everyday makeup routine, especially because it's like quarantine, I like never do my makeup. It's just when I feel like doing it. But I got a Sephora package in the mail today, which I was super excited about because I had like a whole bunch of points. So I got a whole bunch of like free face creams and all that stuff. But anyways, I picked up the um, It Cosmetics CC or Your Skin But Better CC cream. And I'm literally, so fair so I got I think I got the lightest one in fair so I guess um it's SPF 50 so I have the sunscreen SPF 30 and then I have SPF 50 so technically you don't need the sunscreen but I didn't I really wasn't planning on doing a makeup look today but I decided why not um, but it helps prevent sunburn and then it's color correcting full coverage cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum so I'm kind of nervous but it's just it has like a little pump like this and then I'm just going to put some on my hand I guess we'll start off with like that much and then I have my damp beauty blender and I dip the beauty blender in first and then I just start putting it on my face okay yeah this was like <laughs> this was the perfect color because yeah I'm pretty pretty fair. Good thing I didn't get a different color because it would not have matched. I honestly haven't put makeup on in so long so I'm like like I forgot how to do it. <laughs> so far so good. I really do like this color. Um, I honestly wasn't expecting it to be um, so much like foundation. I have the um, Laura Mercier, um, what is it, <laughs> oh, the tinted moisturizer. I have the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer and that is literally the smoothest, lightest foundation. <laughs> Just because it's like, it's 
it's not a foundation really it's literally just tinted moisturizer like it says so I literally haven't put moisture or I haven't put foundation on it so long that's all I've been using but um I just did two pumps of this on my hand and two pumps looks like it's gonna be about enough I do like it it does make my face look very um flawless and it could just be, I don't know, it could just be all the products that I have on underneath it. Let me just like zoom you guys in so you can see. Like, look at that. It looks so just smooth. I don't know, it just looks really, really, really good. So, I'm impressed. I do, I do like this. Okay, so next up. Um, this is like the first time I'm combining all of these products together, so I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we're just playing around with it. So, next I have, um, a lot of this stuff too is like drugstore makeup other than the IT Cosmetics foundation, but everything else is pretty much drugstore, like I got it at Target. So, Target, there you go. I don't, I don't spend too much money on makeup, but Target has good stuff. Okay, so next I have the e.l.f. Um, 16 Hour Camo Concealer. I'm pretty sure that this one is also the lightest one or maybe the second to lightest it's the light ivory um i've only used it once and i didn't know how i liked it but we're gonna go ahead and use it again it's just so like brand new and the applicator is so chunky but like i said i don't like putting um a lot of makeup on so we're just gonna do a little spot conceal my chin because I have some zits. We'll do a little like highlight moment on my nose. And then, yeah, that's basically all I'm going to put on. Um, so I always blend out everything else around my face first and then I'll do underneath my eyes. I like letting my eyes set a little bit longer. I feel like it just turns out better. So I start with my chin and then I'll just like work my way up. But this concealer is really good. It's basically like a dupe for Shape Tape concealer, and I love Shape Tape. Like, that is the concealer that I always use. But this e.l.f. one is not that bad, I will have to admit. And then if I keep looking off to the side and that's annoying you, I'm sorry. That's just like I have a mirror there and I have a mirror, like a magnifying mirror underneath me. So I just, I like using the one like behind you guys. <laughs> It blends out pretty nicely on this foundation. Honestly, it blends out like, wow, it, bl it blends out beautifully. So then I'll just go ahead and go underneath my eyes and then I'll always drag the concealer up onto my eyelid. I don't use um, an eyelid primer, so I like using the concealer as that basically. And I don't use a lot of um, eyeshadow anyways, so. So the next thing before I do any of the, the powder, um, I am going to do my cheeks because I, I use powder bronzer so I'm just going to do my um, cheeks first. So I got the drugstore Maybelline New York Cheek Heat um, liquid blush in the shade, it's the shade 15 in Nude Burn. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand again. Um, the literally the smallest amount goes a long long way with this stuff like literally that's all I put on my hand so basically I'm going to just um, smack it around <laughs> smack it around and get a small amount because it does go a long way and just start patting it onto my cheek on the apples of my cheek and then if I want more I will go ahead and put more I just start with a little bit because like do you see that already like a little bit literally goes the longest way and I put powder blush on top so I don't I don't want to like look super red and then I do um I'm gonna put a little bit more actually and then I do bring it up to my nose because um I've been seeing a lot of people do or like put blush on their nose and it's so pretty so <laughs> I've been doing that as well I also want to get like everyone is obsessed with like freckle filters and I really want to get like the freck 
um little dot thing to give my nose some freckles because I have freckles on my face like see like I have freckles on my face but not like freckles on my nose and I think that look is really pretty obviously because there's a million filters with the freckle filter on it so the cheeks are done so now I'm going to use um, some highlighter that's a little bit on the stickier side it's more like it's kind of like the blush in a way so I got the Winky Luxe um, Strobing Balm in the shade Bubbles. And I think this is like a new line at Target because it's like at one of the end aisles to like promote it. So anyways, that's what it looks like. And I've used it already a couple of times and it's literally so good. So like the putty primer, I just stick my finger in it and like literally I only tapped it and that's how much came off already. So I'm just going to apply it with my finger again on my highlighted area, like my high cheekbone section where you put highlighter. And then I'll drag it up to my forehead a little bit and then down like the side of my eyebrow. Just like if you were putting on powder um highlight that's basically what i'm doing but like look how beautiful that looks it's so pretty like not and then boom oh this is the the best i love this one i have like like i said like i'm gonna put more highlighter on um i like to be super glowy so i put powder on top of that and then i'll put a little bit on my nose on the tip of my nose and like up a little bit and then a little bit on my upper lip and then I might come back to this to put it on the inner corner of my eyelids but I don't know yet but basically that's all I put for the highlighter and it's just oh, it's so beautiful I love it okay so now for powder because I'm done with all like the liquids of my face so I have the um, Fenty Beauty um, powder in the shade butter um, I've used this a million times, but it literally smells so good, and I just put it underneath my eyes, and I don't really bake anymore because I've seen a bunch of people just, like, put it on their sponge and just, like, pat it in, and that literally works so well, so that's all I do now, just to keep from creasing underneath my eyes, and I, um, I don't put too much just because I honestly didn't put too much con concealer on so I don't feel like I need it basically where I put all the concealer is where I put or where I pat in and really press that powder in because that's where I put the most product okay so then I will grab a fluffy brush I just have this Lottie London brush I think it's from forever 21 so I don't know I just tap a little bit onto the brush and just kind of like pat it into my forehead just because I have a lot of product done underneath this and I don't feel like being like super greasy or anything so I will just do that really fast so I have the um Milani bronzer in the shade 2 it's called Sunkiss or uh, Sunkiss I think Sunkiss and it's just a silky matte bronzing powder and then I have this um, bronzing brush like this. So it's a little bit tapered from Sonia Kashuk. I have this bronzing brush that I'm just gonna tap lightly into it and just build up color that way. I don't start with a lot just because oh, I'm just scared. <laughs> so I will just start with a little bit and then I'll build it if I think that I need more bronzer. I just kind of bring it down the sides of my nose a little bit I don't think I mean I never really contour my nose I just don't think that I need to my nose is a pretty cute nose I think so oh so I don't really contour that and then for blush I have the Milani blush <laughs> which looks like this and it's in the shade number three called Berry Amore so it's a baked powder blush so it has a little bit of bronzer in it and then some blush. So with that one, I grab a random brush and it's a little bit tapered too. I will smile a little bit and put them literally right on the apples of my cheeks. And then I will also put it a little bit on my nose too since I brought that up with the um, cream blush. So I'll 
bring up onto my nose, but that's basically all that I do. Looks super pretty. And then for the highlight, I have a bunch of highlighters because I just love highlight, but it's the Physician's Formula Butter Collection, and it has so many things in it. I think it's limited edition, or some of the products in here are limited edition. And it literally has two highlighters, two blushes, and then two bronzers. I use this one, and this one has like little gold flakes in it as well, so I really like that look. So then I will grab my e.l.f highlighting brush this one is actually a highlighting brush and I will dab into it and just apply it onto where I put that liquid highlighter and that's that for my highlighter so that's basically all for my face so now I'm going to move on to eyebrows my eyebrows are pretty like Thick, so I don't have to really do much to them. I have mastered doing my eyebrows and like so fast. So I have a spoolie. I'm gonna be using the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow, brow Pencil just kind of because I'm doing like all drugstore makeup other than the foundation. So I'm going to be using this pencil, which is like a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot what it's called. The, oh, the brow is. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in a little bit of the tops, um, a little bit on the sides. And that's basically all I do. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to do this in the camera, but. My right eyebrow, the one that I'm doing right now, is always a little bit trickier because it's just shaped differently. And to set them in place, I have another Milani product. Um. It looks like this. It's just, oh my gosh, it looks like that. There we go. And it's literally just the clear brow gel. Um, I was using a tinted one, but I kind of like the clear one a little bit more. So I will just brush my eyebrows straight up. And then for the end part of my eyebrow, I just kind of flick it to the side. But the front, I like to have sticking straight up. I think that's kind of like the look right now. So... Eyebrows done, so now I'm gonna play around with eyeshadow. It's just gonna be a quick eyeshadow look. So I have another e.l.f. product. It's just the um, Made for Matte Nude Moon, Nude Mood palette. So it just has a bunch of neutrals and a bunch of browns that I love. And if I can open that, there we go. So I'm going to just start off with a fluffy brush um, and then dip into. I guess I'm gonna dip into this um, this light one right here. It's like a lighter tannish color, just so it kind of matches. I guess I could use bronzer, but I just, I don't use bronzer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it into my crease. Honestly, I feel like I might use the same color over my whole lid, but we'll see. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that all over my lid. I think I'm just gonna go with one color and then I'll do like a little tiny little wing I think with a darker color so bear with me I don't do wings without like tape to the side so I'm gonna do it today without tape um, so I'm just gonna grab this little um, angled brush and so I'm just gonna grab probably Oh, since it's so light, I think I'm just gonna grab this dark color. So this is the one I used for my lid, and then this is the one that I'm gonna use for the eyeliner. All right, so whatever I did there, I guess I'm just gonna grab this brush. I don't know if it's gonna work very well, but I have this little like circular brush. I'm just gonna kind of blend because it's a little bit thicker too so it's good at like blending I hope or like smudging it out there we go that's the word I was looking for so I'm just gonna smudge that but that doesn't look that bad 
And then I, because I did that, I'm actually gonna grab the same fluffy brush and go in with that same color that I used for the wing and just kind of like dab it in that outer corner. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I actually might line over that wing with a darker color. I should have done this first. Oh, oh well. Pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that same angled brush and just go, I used this, oh my god, I used this one. So now I'm gonna use this one. And just lightly, literally, oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> Now I'm gonna just grab a little angled brush and do the lid color that I use all over my lid and just put it underneath my lashes. I should have zoomed you guys in for this part. Let's see. At least, I mean, there's a little bit more of a zoom. Hang on, I need to straighten you. There we go. I should have done this a long time ago. I'm sorry, I didn't. All right, so then I'm gonna grab that fluffy brush again and just drag it up a little bit more on my lid with the same base color that we used. And then, I think that's all I'm gonna do. And then for the, like, I always put highlight underneath my eye. I'm just gonna use the same highlight that I used for my cheeks, the powder one, and just put some underneath my brow bone. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing and put it with the same um, highlight and just put that in my inner corner instead. Just cause this highlight is very pretty. I do, I do like it a lot. So that's done for the eyeshadow. So now I'm going to grab mascara. <laughs> so where is it? Where did I put it? So I'm gonna curl my eyelashes first. I recently got a new eyelash curler. It's I don't even know but uh, you can find it at Target it's just it looks like this there's like four different kinds of this one and it's just really like it's just shaped really well so I'm gonna use this and curl my eyelashes and then I have this mascara if you guys do not have it you need it because it literally lifts your eyelashes so much so it's the maybelline new york the falsies lash lift mascara and i have it in the shade blackest black i always get my mascara in the blackest black but this literally you'll see you'll see it's literally so crazy so i'm gonna try to like keep this in view okay so that's all I'm gonna put on for mascara because I am gonna put on some eyelashes. So I'm gonna curl my right side. Okay, and then I'm gonna do my bottom lashes and then I will um, do the falsies lashes and I also have to find my glue. I have these um, Lash Couture Lux Extension Collection, the ultimate lash extension look, <laughs> eyelashes. And these I got at um, Ulta, I think. I'm sure you can find them anywhere, but I got them at Ulta. So what I did is I literally just, this lash was like a full lash and I just cut it in half. So I literally, it's just like half of a lash and I put them on the outer corners of my eyes. And then I literally, I just have the duo lash glue, um, the one that has like the little brush and I'll just put layer on it. That's good. And then I'll just plop them onto the outer corner. And that's what I do. So it literally just gives a little bit of um, extension to it. So while my other lash is drying, I'm just gonna grab the mascara again and just run through that really fast just to keep everything connected. And then if I need to like blend in the middle a little bit, I will do that.
the last thing to do is lips. I have this Bite, um, let's see, what is it? Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Cryon in the shade Glace, which looks like this. I'm gonna outline my lips. Literally the prettiest color. I honestly would use this for like, it just, <laughs> It looks like my lip color, like I haven't done anything and it literally looks like my lip color. Another another Milani product, it's the um, Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the shade 8 Soft Rose. So it's just like a lip gloss and I will put this in the middle. It's basically like the same shade as the Bite, I think. I don't know, I haven't used it together, but that is actually really really pretty i really like that combination i'm gonna actually put that in my little makeup bag because it's a really good combination and then for the finishing touch i have a wet and wild photo focus coconut three-in-one primer water um i use this for like my setting spray i have a whole bunch of other like setting sprays but i'm just gonna use this one because one one i like the smell and two it actually works very well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shake that and just spritz. Ooh, this one's almost running out, so it's like the end of the end of its life. All right, and then I'm just gonna take my hair out. So anyways, that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, like I said, it was like all drugstore makeup. I will try to find everything that I used and tag it down below if you guys are interested in shopping the products that I used. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification if you haven't already so you guys get the notification of when I post. I'm going to try to post a little bit more often. I just have been a little bit lazy. so. Anyways, um, I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you for watching.